This is our first look at the NBA 2K23 My Player Builder. This is on next gen. They said current gen has a similar builder. So if you play current, this is gonna be the exact same for you. Now the footage I'm using is from Joe No's recent video of him showing off the builder. Now he basically broke down the builder and everything you need to know about it. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I figured it out. I'm not gonna say I figured out the best build before the game even dropped. But I got a great idea of the builder and how it works from his video. So I did I did my thing. I looked at the three-point shot, the ball handling, the driving dunk, the important stats, what you need for badges, the badge tiers. And I'm going to let you guys know what you should be making in this video right here. All right, so my ideal build on 2K has always been a six foot five or a six foot four point guard. I just think that's the perfect height. So you see, I have it paused right here at six foot five. So before I get into it, your wingspan does not affect your ball handling this year at all. Unless you're a center, it does not affect it. It'll only affect your three point shot. Now where there are three numbers that you're gonna wanna remember, and that is your ball handling, 94, your three point shot, 92, and your driving dunk, 85. And you guys will understand why in a minute here, but those are the three important stats and the three important numbers you should have on each of those stats to make what I think is gonna be the best build in the game. So at a six foot 10 wingspan, you see you can get a 95 ball handling, we're gonna go 94, a 92 three-point shot, which is exactly what we want, and then a 96 driving dunk, we're only going to need 85. So those three key stats meet the requirements for the badges, and you guys are going to see why I'm saying those numbers, and for our ideal height, six foot five guard. I just think that's the perfect height for a guard. So now let's talk about the badges, one of the most important things and why I think those numbers are super important. So I'm gonna pause it right here at ball handle. You see, I'm gonna pause it once it hits 94 ball control or ball handle. So on my six foot five build, this is gonna be my max ball handle. And you see the 20 badges that you end up getting for this. You basically get all the good badges that you want. And remember, my pass accuracy speed with ball isn't even max what it should be. So you're gonna get all the playmaking badges you want, plus the key important one, which I think in tier three is gonna be handles for days, which is gonna allow you to equip another tier three. So you're gonna have two gold tier three badges, you guys will understand later. And then obviously you're gonna have quick first step hall of fame, which is only a tier two badge. And you see that you have 20 badge points. On my build, you'll probably have around 23 to 26 would be my guess because I'm going to make my pass accuracy and speed with ball higher. So let me show you guys the playmaking badges. Now, the most important tier three one is going to be handles for days and then tier two, obviously quick first step. You guys, I'm going to run them through the badges right here. You guys should have seen Joe Noah's video. Go check it out if you haven't where he breaks down all this. But the important thing about these badges is that you're going to be able to get so many of them. So remember, this is the biggest reason why we went for a 94 ball control. I just think that the difference between silver and gold handles for days is going to be night and day, especially with the new adrenaline bars. So you're going to be able to get this with seven badge points, right? Remember, we're going to have around 23 to 26. So that's seven. But you're going to be able to get this or another one of these tier three badges for free. I'm guessing mismatch expert, maybe killer combos. So we'll just, you get one of these for free and you get another one. So let's say that's seven badge points there. And then we'll say the second must have badge for ball handling is this quick first step. And you're going to want this hall of fame. You're going to get this hall of fame. So you're going to use six on that. So let's say you get a tier three badge for free. You're going to get another tier three badge handles for days for seven and then quick first step, which is six. So that's 13 badge points right there. But like I said, you're going to have anywhere between 23 to 26. So you're going to have 13 more and the tier one is even cheaper and unpluckable is probably going to cost another six. That's 19. So these, like I told you, it's definitely deceiving the amount of badge points, but I think it's balanced. If you guys get what I'm saying, you understand that it sounds super balanced. And before I even go on to show you guys what I'm talking about with the shooting badges and, the, and that attributes and the finishing, let me show you guys what I'm talking about with the free badge point. Let me get into that right now. Okay, so this is the screen you'll get to when you want to equip your badges. And you see at the top, this has 12 badge points on finishing, okay? 12 badge points. And that's why the magic number is going to be 17, okay? 17 is going to be the magic number because you guys are going to see, even though he has 12 badge points, he cannot equip a tier 3 badge for free because before you equip a tier 3 badge, you guys see at the bottom there, 
You can't even equip a tier three badge until you use 10 badge points on tier one and two badges. That's why I said 17 is the magic number because gold tier three badges cost seven badge points. So if you can get one tier three badge at gold, you're gonna be able to unlock another because of this free badge point that I'm gonna show you right now. So this is what I'm talking about. They call them your core badges. As you see on the right, you can equip one per category and that's basically a free badge. It doesn't have to be a tier three badge, but obviously if you can get a tier three badge for free, that's obviously worth the most since it's gonna be the most badge points you get to save. But that's the catch and what I think is gonna make it balanced. So that let's say you can't just make a BP build, right? Where you're gonna have an 85 driving dunk, but only 10 finishing badges. And you use seven of those finishing badges on gold posterizer. You can't do that because posterizer is a tier three badge. So remember that number, 17 is gonna be the key number where you can equip two gold tier three badges and that you can have your tier one and your tier two badges or whatever. But I like that. I really think that that's going to make this game way more balanced. Obviously, we had the attribute caps in the last couple years in the builder, but this is the first time we get to see this. You see, he upgraded his posterizer. He upgraded. He made his posterizer his core badge, and he kept the seven badge points, like I was saying. So now he can equip another tier three badge, and this will take up the seven badge points that the core badge didn't take up. So that is going to be interesting. But now let's get back to basically why I made this video and the rating. So I went over playmaking and why your ball handling needs to be a 94, okay? That's the important stat. Now let's do your three point and why that needs to be a 92. A 92 three point is the key number. So I'm gonna pause it right here. When it hits 94 three pointer, it's close enough, but obviously my mid range and free throw aren't gonna be these exact ratings, but you see with this blending of 94 three, 80 mid range and a set 68 free throw, you have 26 shooting badges. So I'm going to say I'm going to have around 24 to 28 shooting badges. We'll just say 26, just like this build. And look at all the shooting badges that you unlock. Now, just like playmaking, we're going to go through, we're going to go over the shooting badges and the important ones to equip and how much they cost. Now, these are all the shooting badges this year. Now, the most important ones and for tier three, obviously, Limitless Range, Dead Eye, and Blinders, all super important. They actually stacked up the tier three. So shooting badges are going to be expensive this year. They're definitely going to be expensive. But like you saw, you're going to get one for free, which will definitely make it better. You're going to have around 26, like I said, would be my guess in your shooting badges. So let's go through it right now. Now the most important badge for shooting and the reason why we went exactly a 92 three point is for this limitless range. Now you're not going to get a 99 three point so you're not going to you're not going to get that on Hall of Fame but gold is more than good enough. Gold is perfect. So you need a 92 three pointer for that. That's going to be seven. You're going to want to use most likely dead eye and blinders as well. Agent three that's all about fading. I don't fade, but that badge might be OP. We don't know. Green Machine's going to be a must. That's not going to cost as much, but you will be able to get that on either Gold or Hall of Fame. I forget which one, but with around 26 shooting badge points, plus getting one of these tier threes for free, it's going to be more than enough. That's why I'm telling you guys, 92 is the important number for a uh, three-point shot. 92 three-point shot is what you're going to need. And then the last rating out of the three you see right here, you're going to need an 85 driving dunk for silver posterizer. You're not going to be able to get a 93 driving dunk unless you go a different build than what I'm thinking. But for my build, where I'm going to be able to have a 92 three-pointer, 94 ball control, 85 driving dunk with these badges that I'm thinking of, that's why I wanted to make this build. And now to recap it all up, NBA 2K23 and the My Player Builder looks balanced. I'm hoping for a great year. I'm praying for a great year. I think it will be with how this builders turned out. I never thought they could balance it, but with the ideas they implemented and the way it's working with the free badge, the certain attributes affect other attributes, which I guess they had the last few years, but this new badge layout thing, these badge points, I think is going to it's going to change the game. It's going to make builds balanced. I wanted to upload this to let you guys though know those three key ratings you're going to want on your build for those badges now just because i think those are the most overpowered badges now doesn't mean they will be in months this is just my first test but if you guys stuck around this long 
I definitely will be uploading a best builds video the day before 2k drops when I get it for uh, for New Zealand about 16 hours early I'll dive deep into the builder even more than I could have through this this video I literally will dive myself into the builder find the best builds for you guys definitely upload it show you guys what build I'm gonna make the best builds for your play style I'll probably have three to five builds in that video going through it I wanted to make this so you guys could understand my point of view and perspective of how the builder is but let's look forward to a great year of 2k23 if you guys did enjoy this video and you're looking forward to 2k23 do me a favor drop a like sub if you're new and I'm out